lot of questions about rates right now and where they're headed with this volatile market, but I have a special guest today from Security National Mortgage that's going to tell us all about it. Hey, Sam. Thanks for inviting me. Hey, thanks for having uh, your presence here, Dave. Indeed, You're always pleasure. appreciated. So Dave is a really good, reputable lender here in Kona. I've been working with Dave for a long time. And we're just going to jump right into it, Dave. Cool. So where are rates at right now? Ooh. Where are they headed in 30 to 60 days? That's wow. probably the most common question I get. Right. And it's a it's a really tough question to answer exactly. But obviously, everybody knows that we had an explosion of rates between over the past couple of months. Um, they've kind of leveled out around the 6% range right now. Okay. So they're kind of holding steady. What about for an investor? For an investor, you're always going to be looking at about, about three quarters of a percent higher. Okay. As a general rule, I mean, that's that's a basic rule of thumb. There are always facets like credit scores and loan to value and all that stuff that affect what a rate is, but that's okay. generally what you're looking at. But we do have options to buy down rates, and this is where so many people know so little about that. You can actually buy down the rate to lower your interest rate, and Dave's going to talk about that. Exactly. Exactly. Thanks for bringing that up. Because, yeah, a lot of people know about the ability to buy, to pay points to buy down the rate initially for the long term. But there are other options out there that are not really spoken about very often. And we have a program here at Security National, for instance, called a 2 1 buy down, where you can actually pay a certain amount of points, but you get a lower interest rate of 2% lower than what the going rate is at the time that you lock your loan in. Okay. So the first year is 2% lower. The second year is 1% lower than what the rate was. And then the third year, you're back up to the original, what the rate was. Okay. So if rates are better at that point in time, you can refinance. Okay. For that but the downside of that is the buyer has to come to the closing table with all this extra cash though, right? There, It, it is a cost for it. You know, there's always going to be a cost for it. Um, but how... we do have ways to buy that down. So we could actually have, if we're really good at negotiating here, we can get the seller to contribute some of that, half of that, or even if we're really good at negotiating, the full thing. Exactly. So a lot of these properties that are sitting on the market longer than 60 days, longer than 90 days, those are the type of sellers that are going to entertain something like this in the form of a seller concession. Sure, absolutely. And that'll that'll open the door for a lot of home buyers. Right. Yeah. So before I got on, Dave, we were talking about a uh, mortgage credit certificate. What What is that? Why don't you go over that for a uh, It's a good question. And that's yeah. another thing that a lot of people don't really know about. Mortgage credit certificate is a county-based program, and we do it here in Hawaii County. It Basically, you're given a certificate. You apply and get a certificate from the county, and it allows you to use a certain percentage of the interest from the payment, usually 20 to 30%, as qualifying income. So you can actually add that onto the income that you have as qualifying qualifying income to get into the home. So if you're close on income, that can be a deciding factor. Okay. And we have other supplemental qualifiers too, such as uh, border and rental income. Right. Let's right. touch base on that a little bit. Yeah. That's a new one too. The border income uh, traditionally has been a no-go. Freddie Mac just came out with a program, uh, uh, an update to one of their programs that allows people to use income from a, an established border in a property, somebody that's been renting a room or something like that. So that's what a border is, somebody that's, that's renting a room. So they have to have a lease. They would want to have a lease and they would want to document at least 12 months of payments. 12 or 12, months. Yeah, 12 months of payments. So, okay. But yeah, it's a really, again, it opens doors for uh, buyers when a lot of people aren't talking about this stuff. So. Okay, okay. So the moral of the story is, guys, we have options available to not only first time home buyers, but all buyers and investors with the buy down rates, the border income, and the qualifiers to help people get into a home so if you want to know anything more about what we're talking about in detail if you want to go through the process of getting qualified dave's a good guy to talk to give us a call numbers at the bottom of the screen call us texas we're happy to take care of you aloha, aloha.